Have you ever told yourself, I hate pointers. I don't understand pointers. I don't get them at all. Why do we even use pointers? No one's been able to, uh, to explain what pointers are. And I still don't get I still don't understand it. If you've said those things to yourself, I can very much relate to you guys. Because it took me years to understand what pointers actually are and what they actually do and how they're useful. Because everybody else online and the, the people who, most people who have written written the books, the textbooks on C, except mine, have overcomplicated what pointers are and what they're used for. Even the other YouTube channels that I've seen out, out, on, out on YouTube, they, they're, they're still not able to explain pointers very well. Or well, they just overcomplicate everything with just too many, too many examples of, of what, what, they, what they're used for and, 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 how, and how they're applied. And they explain it in, like a, in a really vague concept in, in a way that doesn't make sense. And, that, and they also explain it like really quickly as if like we're a computer scientist, which uh, I don't think most people in, in, this, in, this, in the subscriber base are, if, if, I'm, if I'm being honest. Because I'm not a computer scientist. And I don't think you are either. So, in simple terms, in very, very simple terms, the best way to define what a pointer is in very plain English terms is that a pointer is just a variable that holds a memory address. That is the simplest way that I can explain a pointer. A pointer is something that just holds a memory, that stores a memory address in the program and that's it now you might be thinking now you might be asking yourself but Sahil what about that star what about that star operator and that and operator that we use in pointers just just let's let's take it easy let's 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 break let's break it down first I'm gonna I've, I just explained what they are in simple terms and now now we're gonna get into how now we now we're gonna get into what the star operator and the AND operator does in the source code. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty of how to actually declare pointers and how to actually use the star operator and the AND operation of pointers. So let's begin with declaring a very, very basic pointer in simplest terms using the star operator. So the way to declare a pointer is that all we have to do is go like this. That's how we declare a pointer in, in, C, in C++. That's it. All we have to do is we have to put the uh, star the star icon next to the next to the next to the next to the variable type, and then you just put in the uh, the, the variable name uh, right after it. So that's declaring a pointer. Now you might be asking yourself now. Okay, so what about the AND oper operation of pointers? Okay, if we want to if we want to find out what that what this address of of this variable is the, of this pointer as I've got it named, if we want to find out the address of what of what the what the what the memory address of that of that variable is, what we can do is we can print it out on the screen. So if I go like this, if I go AND this pointer. It's going to show the memory. It's going to output the memory address. See, there we go. So it's printing out what the what, what the address is of this pointer, the variable name, in the memory. So as we've got here, we've got zero zero d a f a a eight. If I go, if I run it again, it's probably going to change. Yep, zero one three f five d zero o eight. So that's that's changing every single time we run the program. So what what this is doing is that this is getting the get this is getting the the address of the so there we have it. We've what we've got here is what we've got we've got firstly declaring a pointer and then we've also got showing the address 
of 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 a pointer. Okay, so in this very in this in this further example here in part two of the video, I've got a very basic uh, C program that's showing you how we can how we can use variables and pointers to to set pointers to back to variables. So in this very basic example here. What we have here is that I've got a pointer declared here called variable, as you can see with the star operator here. So that's this is this is a pointer here. And then in the second in the second line in, in line eleven, we've got a variable called value, and I've said that and I've said that value is equal to ten. So value is a variable which is equal to ten, which is pretty self-explanatory. So on line thirteen, where it says C out uh, dash dash value, that's going to print out. Uh, the value 10 because of we've because that's because that's equal to 10 which is pretty self-explanatory and then on line 15 what's going to happen because since we since we've now got the and operator next to the variable value what what that's going to do is that it's going to print out that the address which has been set in the which is which is which is which is sitting in the memory so this is going to print out the memory address of this variable here value which is equal to 10 which is stored in the memory. And then on, then on line 17, what we've got here is that we're setting, we're setting the pointer vari we're setting the, the pointer variable is equal to the memory address of value. So line 15 and line set and line 17, if I highlight these two, these two uh, the, the, these these two well actually these three sorry are actually going to uh, so, so when when I print it out later, what you'll notice is that the, the is that the memory address is going to be the same when we print it out, and then on the lucky on on line twenty one here, I've got an example here where I've got the star operator next to next to variable. So what this is going to do is that since since we're set we're, since we're setting we're pointing the, the variable vari, variable. To, to, to value, what it's going to be doing is that it's going to be printing out the value of what, of what it's been pointed to. So this is going to be printing out the value of 10, which is over here. So if I, so if I run this now, this is, the, this, is, this is going to be the outcome. So let me just drag my, my window across here. So we've got the first line here, line 13, C out value is 10. Line 15 is the memory address. And then line 17 and line 19, that's also printing the memory address, which is linked, because variable is equal to the AND operator of value, which is, which is the same memory address. And then the, 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 the final line here, is printing out this line here, C out uh, star variable, which is printing out what the value has been pointed to, which is 10. So in the second example here, I've broken down a very, very basic program which apply, which, which uses pointers and variables to, to point to point variables to, to see what the, what the what the values are in the in the memory address and what the values are when when they're pointed when they're pointed. If that if that makes if that makes sense, so that concludes that 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 exam this example of what pointers are and how we use them broken down in a very basic and simple way that can be understood. If you guys got a lot of value out of the, out of the video I just showed you, please click click on the like button and press subscribe to to get notified of every single new video that comes out on the C plus plus Better Explain uh, YouTube channel. Also. If you're struggling to put the pieces together to try and learn C++ on your own, I have a free video, video down below that shows you guys the three steps to easily master and fundamentally successfully learn the C++ programming language. It's a free video for you guys that outlines the three steps that you need to know to, to in order to be able to successfully learn and master the C++ programming language. And if you, got a, and if you get a lot of that value out of that video, what I want you guys to do is that I want you guys to, to book a free call with me to see that, how I can help you out in regards to learning C++. It's a free 30, call, 30 minute call with me directly. We'll get on the phone and I'll see how we can, I can help you out in regards to learning C++. 
that's all I have to say for you guys today and I'll see you next time.